guys i hope you're all doing well so i thought i would share with you 10 winter wardrobe essentials so these are things that i think are essential for my wardrobe right now but also kind of every winter as and when it happens so these are things that i've invested into spent maybe a little bit more money on some of them some of them are actually really affordable and really cheap but they've lasted me years so i thought i would just talk through all of it and you can kind of see what i consider to be an investment in my winter wardrobe and as i said where these are essentials they kind of everything goes with everything and they're really good base pieces to style from so other bits in your wardrobe will go really well with them they can mix and match really easily and it's basically just the things that i put on my rail and i pull out the most often when it comes to this time of year so i'm actually going to start with the shoes because there's one pair of shoes in this which i have worn to death this season and i actually bought these this year because last year and the year before i actually had a cheaper version of which lasted me so long but they were kind of like my if i wear these a lot then i'll buy the better ones shoes so this is what they are if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen these a bazillion times already but these are my doc martin Jaden boots and they're actually really true to size and surprisingly comfortable so i've been wearing these on shoots for the last couple of weeks and i've also worn them out and about within reason so like i've worn them to the supermarket i've worn them to like being q or various little day trips where i can wear them little and often so they don't hurt and i actually invested in a pair of the doc socks which are 10 pounds i'll leave them linked down below but they're basically double lined socks and they're kind of protective in all the places that they would rub perfect for these honestly they make them so comfortable so this is what they look like and they're just the classic chunky sole dock boots these are a little bit more chunky than some of the other ones but i really really like them and despite being 179 pounds they're such a worthy investment because i wear them all the time and i know they'll be in my wardrobe for a very very long time to come so this is what they look like i will leave linked down below a few similar versions that are cheaper because obviously they are quite a high price point if you don't want to invest straight away like i didn't so i'll leave the similar ones down below and then you can check them out then accessories wise i've actually only put two accessories in here because i didn't want to overload my 10 items with too many accessories so the first is a beanie hat obviously you can use your own preference on color some people prefer white ones or neutral ones but i personally love wearing my black one because it just goes with absolutely everything and this one is a cheapie from zara i think it was like six pounds but i actually do have the h&m ones which are really really comfortable they're about seven pounds but they're like a little bit more thin not as chunky this one's quite a chunky one but you can't go wrong with a beanie hat they are always in fashion but they are always a classic and if you're having a bad hair day or it's raining like just chuck one of these on and you're good to go then for scarves i thought i would bring in my investment scarf which is probably my most worn and my most chunky because i'm not really a big scarf person i only wear them if they're like really big and it's really really cold i don't really tend to wear them other than that i actually do have a burberry one which i bring out on occasion but that's more like a smart scarf because it's cashmere and it's not like a one that you can wrap around all big and cozy it's kind of like more of a chuck it over a blazer and it's a bit more smart but this is my acne one which is in the neutral colors i will see if they still sell this colorway but i know they obviously still have the gray and honestly there's like a bazillion different colorways of this it is a little bit pricey i will say that straight off the bat but it is just the coziest thing and on my instagram i actually posted a reel which i'll link down below of wearing this four different ways so like different ways that you can style a scarf for winter because they're not just ones that you can kind of throw around your neck like that like there's so many different ways you can wear them but this one's a great investment and since i got it last year i've actually worn it a lot and where it is a little bit more expensive it's obviously wool and it's really kind of durable with multi-seasonal use it's also just really nice to have as like a blanket around my shoulders if i'm watching tv which i've definitely been guilty of like i just kind of wear it as a blanket sometimes and that's okay too next up we have a pair of black mum jeans because in winter i like to wear thermals under things especially because i am just the coldest person ever and i like when things are a little bit baggier sometimes so these have kind of replaced my skinny jeans which i've actually got on you can't see but they're on my legs so these are a zara pair which are really true to size and really really comfortable they're quite a thin denim but that's what i wanted like i wanted really thin and movable denim i'll leave a couple of links below to my top mum jeans but they're just a classic they're really easy to style they're really easy to wear with so many different things and these are like a nice faded black so they're not too harsh go really well with neutrals and mum jeans are just everywhere like you literally can't go wrong with a pair of mum jeans they're just such a classic and i feel like that's what i'm just going to keep saying a lot through this video is that things are a classic but that's why they're an essential because they're a classic timeless thing that you can invest a little bit more money into and wear year upon year denim wise i actually don't tend to invest that much levi 501s i've bought before i wear them a lot but i wouldn't say they're my most worn 
sorry my dishwasher is currently going but the zara jeans are really good and the new look jeans are actually also really good too so if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money but you want long lasting denim they're places that i found really good then we have polonex so i've actually got four here because they're four different brand ones and i wanted to share all of them with you because they're all ones that i wear a lot and i wanted to kind of show you different varieties of the same i don't really know why i just did so this one is actually from uniqlo which is a really great place to buy basics they're long lasting they're cheap they're affordable and they're really good quality so this is just like a really nice kind of neutral ribbed one great for layering up this one is a little bit thin is all i will say like i tend to wear this with a vest or something underneath just so it's a bit warmer then we've got this one which came from primark so these were about four pounds i've actually got a gray version of this as well which is in the wash that's not on my hand um but this one's really great i find this to be quite comfortable and really really warm because it's like a really nice fine knit so really really good one to get and the roll neck isn't too deep then we have this one which is from new look again a little bit thin but this one's a great base layer for layering up with different jumpers and stuff and again really affordable i think they're about 10 pounds and then the last one I have is another Uniqlo one. I actually didn't realise I got two from Uniqlo. But this one is a Uniqlo one, which is a unisex and it's really, really comfortable. So this is actually a cashmere one, a bit bougie, I know. But um, this was gifted to me for a campaign a few years ago and it's lasted me forever. I use my little debobbler on it quite a lot and it's just, again, a great base layer. Great for putting with different things. Like I can lay knit vests over the top, chuck a chunky coat on. Like there's just so many styling options and... I can recommend adding some cashmere to your wardrobe because it is a little bit more expensive, but it lasts you so long. And if it's a basic like this that you'll wear a lot, it's really worth getting because it will just last you for years. And I know washing cashmere can be a bit of a nightmare. Um, <laughs> I've never sent this to dry cleaner. I have just chucked it on a 30 because I'm really naughty, but um, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. I'm <laughs> currently like trying to decide whether I need to invest in some cashmere pajamas can't quite decide whether it's worth the investment but i also do own about 700 million bits of loungewear so i'm thinking that's like a future investment that i don't need to make right now but it might come in the future <laughs> um next up we have the first of my two coats so this one is one that i've had for about three years now and i've actually got it in three different colors because i loved it so much so this is the and other stories wool blazer and i bought this in a size up because i like it to be more of a coat than a blazer so this is just honestly it's like the perfect tailored coat if you want something a little bit smarter and it comes in like sage green you can get it in navy black white cream like there's a bazillion different colors and it's just a really long lasting jacket um i think it came to about 120 no 169 pounds i think but really great investment and it does sometimes go into the sales so it's worth checking in the black friday sales for this one um it's also worth noting they do student discount i think so you can maybe get your hands on it a little bit cheaper but i really like this again gets debobbled quite a lot but it's a really classic nice tailored fit which if you are like i said doing something a bit smarter this is definitely great but it also fits with like chunky jackets and stuff chunky jackets chunky jumpers and stuff really well so there's like various different ways that you can wear it then we're going to talk about chunky jumpers because we all know i love a chunky roll neck jumper i think i own about seven billion chunky roll neck jumpers but i picked two of my favorites for the rail this one is actually from new look and it's really really snug but i put this on because it wasn't included in the video so these are the two that i've got on the rail here so this one's actually from Zara and it's new in. So it's like a cable knit style, but really, really soft, really, really like just cozy and warm. The arms are quite big on it and it is cropped, but this one's really nice for putting with like leather leggings and stuff. And it's also just really, really thick and snuggly. And then this one is a long standing from H&M. This one comes back in every single year and every single year they add more colorways. So at the moment, I think they've got cream and like a sagey green and maybe a couple of others but i bought this in a medium and it's my favorite thing for chucking over like leather leggings or something because it's so big and oversized i can fit my thermals underneath i can still fit a coat over and when it's like the depths of winter it's just the nicest snuggliest thing it's also great for lounging around the house with a pair of leggings and some slippers or something as well because it's just so big and chunky and h&m knitwear is always a good one because it's really affordable but it's also 
one of those kind of places where it's long lasting as well so you're not spending loads of money and breaking the bank but you're getting really good high quality investment things then we have the trusty leather leggings now i'm actually going to link three different pairs of these because i have some from misguided which are more like coated jeans i've got a new look pair which are really really comfortable and i've got this pair so i've done the rounds on the leather leggings and let me tell you these ones are my favorites but the new look are also i'd say just as good the only thing i would say is they're a bit more stretchy if you wanted something a bit more stretchy so i'll leave both linked but these are the top shop leather the leggings with the little seams down the front and they are so comfortable and so easy to wear like these go with absolutely everything they're obviously leggings so they're really comfortable they are just the great alternative to jeans in the winter like i bring these out probably like early september and wear them all the way through till like february march time because they're just so easy to wear and i've had these ones for quite a few months now and they still look brand new they're still like really they're just so comfy I honestly just love them so much they're just so so comfortable you've probably seen me wear them a million times on instagram because i do style them a lot but they're just honestly the best thing ever and i love them and um, they're also really affordable which is ugh, i know i keep saying i've invested in a lot of this but a lot of this is also quite affordable stuff that's not bank breaking because i know that not everyone has this like overflowing pot to invest in all this really expensive stuff but i think when it's the right thing like the doc martens it is worth spending that little bit more because they do just fit into everything in your life like i honestly think out of like 30 pairs of boots or something that i own the docks have probably already been worn more than most of those shoes and some of them have been in there for a really really long time then because it's 2020 and just because i like to wear this kind of thing in winter a lot i've added in some loungewear so this is a new loungewear set that i've recently got in from a place called Anne louise boutique and it's this really nice knitted set with little black embroidered hearts all over this is great because it's really really warm and cozy great for wearing around the house or as separate but it's also something that i find really easy to style for going out because it literally just is like a cream loungewear set I've actually done a reel on my YouTube, if, on my YouTube, on my Instagram, if you wanted to see that, but I'd be happy to make it into a YouTube video as well if you wanted it. But it's just really, really cozy, really, really comfortable. And like I said, great for wearing in or outdoors and it will last for ages because it's knitted. I'll leave it linked down below. It is 90 pounds and it does come in a few different colorways. So they've got like, I think red with white stars. I think there's navy with white stars. There's like a few different variations, but obviously being me, I just went for the cream because it's so, so cute and cozy. And it's actually like, one of the softest things ever and i haven't washed these yet because i only got them in the other day but i know that they wash really nicely because i've spoken to other people who own them as well and then last but not least we have a coat which is new into my wardrobe i know that it's something that i'm going to get a lot of wear out of because it's something i've wanted for ages and i actually borrowed my friend charlotte's one i'll leave her channel down below but i couldn't resist buying it because i loved it so much when i borrowed hers and it's this gigantic teddy fur coat from Topshop. so this is actually 80 pounds and it's so worth investing in especially in black friday sales because it definitely will be reduced i actually bought this one for 30% for 30 off the other day and i think it came to like 71 pounds instead of 79.99 or something like that but really nice and cozy i would recommend not sizing up in it because this is an eight and it absolutely swamps me so i don't think you should size up it also fits jumpers and stuff under really nicely when you buy true to size and it's just like the perfect length as well which i think is really important because i'm five foot four i'm not the tallest person ever but coats like this sometimes do look a little bit too big and this one's just like the perfect size and really snuggly um and also coats like this again they've been around for years like teddy coats and like faux fur shearling kind of styles have been around for so long in the world of winter and i think they're just not going anywhere if anything they're just getting more and more of the same so it's worth investing in a really good one now because chances are it will come back in in a few years anyway in the same shop and you'll already have it and it goes with everything so yeah i've just talked a million miles an hour you can tell i've not filmed a youtube video in a really long time because the speed of my voice is just very very fast but I really hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoyed seeing some of my top winter essentials. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.